Hey guys, what is going on? I'm Prodigy24 coming at you with another NBA 2K16 video. Today we're going to be doing a little run over of my signature styles and what I like to use for my player. So, well, let me hit that green light. Okay, so right here, first we're going to go to my attribute upgrades. I'm a shooting guard, I'm a 92, and if I were you making a shooting guard, do not touch rebounder. Go ahead and upgrade athlete, playmaker, jump shooter, and defender. Then go ahead and slowly move up inside. You can move up inside about three-fourths or half of the way and do the rest on rebounder. But I'd suggest do it all inside because if you're a shooting guard that's 6'3 like mine or 6'5 or 6'6, six, six, you don't really need rebounding. Because most likely you'd be a center. I mean, if you're 6'6 six, six or 6'7, six, I guess you could do rebounding. That'd be a better idea to do half and half. But for me, since I'm 6'3, I'm just going to do inside. Badges right here, these some of these are a must. Dead Eye, definitely a must. Fade Ace, Limitless Range, Microwave, and Unfazed right here are both nice. They help a lot for Park if you're a good shooter and you'd be shooting a lot. Shot Creator is not a must. I just have it because I happen to pick it up while I'm trying to get others. These right here, if you're trying to break ankles, these are the ones you want. These help you catch so many ankles. It's unbelievable. Behind the Back Pro. Flashy pa uh, flashy passer, that's not one I just picked that up too. Hesitation stutter, killer crossover, master of in and out, pet move size up, which is amazing. Spin kingpin is not a must because you don't really catch angles with a spin, but it's nice to have just in case. You got step back freeze, which definitely is a must. And then right here, you have to have it if you're going to be good at clamps and park. Perimeter lockdown defender, pick dodger is nice to have, pick pocket is nice and I just picked up transition finisher. But like I said, the three best to have is hesitation stunner, pet move size up, and step back freeze. So now let's get right in to my NBA anime. For jump shot, I like to run the Marcus Aldridge, of course, because you'd be getting green lights. Release timing, I got it quick. For my free throw, I'm pretty sure I have Steph Curry because it's a really consistent free throw. Dunks, you don't want anything too fancy, but you want to get fancy here and there. So I just got the under basket rim pulls, basket basic one handers off one, basic two handers off two. Over here, I got the hangs off one, quick drops off two, and quick drops off one. These are both keys. It's so much easier. You're not going to get blocked on either of those. Neither will you on this tomahawk right there, that straight arm. Then this reverse off one, reverse off two, I just have for looks. And once in a while you get that good one, you get that switcheroo. You have the basic 360s and the cradle dunks. Then I have the historic dressler. On my center, I do have historic Jordan because who doesn't want that? For my layup, of course, I've got the Jamal Crawford because I like his little hop step and Euro step. I like those a lot. I mean, if you're not going to use him, Curry is definitely cheese. I like Tyrese too and James Harden. They're both good. But I like to run Jamal Crawford because it, it looks nice and it, his hop steps are nice. Pre-game, none of that matters. So, let's get right into my park animations. Anything in here that you guys want to really see? No. Now, signature size. Contested, no doubt, run Steph Curry. Dribble pull up, Steph Curry. Spin jumper, of course, Steph Curry. Hop jumper. You'd think I'd say Steph Curry, which is nice. It's quicker. But definitely, no doubt, run normal three. Normal three makes people look dumb. They you just be making people look dumb. From a post fade, I got Michael Jordan. Post hook, I got hook eleven. Post hop shot, I got post hop shot ten. These are just preferences. This hook and hop shot. Shimmy shot, I got two preference. Protect shot, I got one, which is preference. Dribble posture. Now this is where we're getting into where we break ankles. Dribble posture. Put that on low, get low to the ground because you won't be getting people ripping it near as much and you get yourself low to the ground to be breaking ankles. ISO crossover 2, no doubt. Uh, you can play around with crossover 6, it is nice too, and so is crossover 11. Somehow crossover 11 you can break ankles, it's, it's weird, kind of glitchy in my opinion. You'd be catching ankles at weird times, but definitely if, in my opinion I'll run crossover 2 any day over crossover 11. Behind the back, behind the back, 14. It's one of the qu it is the quickest, and it'll catch some ankles. Spin don't really catch ankles, but it helps you get around players. That's why I run spin 14. It is quick, really quick, and no one's gonna catch you. 
Hesitation 3. No doubt run Hesitation 3. Not 1, not 2, not 4, not 5. Run 3. 3 is definitely the way to go. None of these others compare to it. Hesitation 4, on the other hand, like if you're if you don't want to run Hesitation 3 like everybody else in 2K16 this year, go ahead and run Hesitation 4. But if you want to be like everybody else and catch ankles, run Hesitation 3. For my signature size up, that don't really matter. I run, what do I run? I run his size up 25. I would recommend also running 50. Where is it? There's 50. 50 is nice. Actually, I'm going to put, put on 50 right now. It's got a little bit of sham gone in there. So, uh, I so size up in and out. Of course, you got that Jamal Crawford. Nothing compared to this. This is what everybody used since day one. It'd be catching so many ankles. Like, ankles on ankles on ankles. It's just... Get a little space between them, just hit that at the right time, and they'd be on their butt falling. This Kyrie Irving did ain't bad, but it doesn't compare to the Jamal Crawford. I think it's this Tony Parker that's nice, too. No, it's not. Is it Chris Paul? Yeah, Chris Paul can catch some. Now on this size up cross, I definitely run Chris Paul on this. It'll catch some ankles. So will this Kyrie Irving. They both create space. And then. Steph Curry will create space if you're in the creating space for the shot. And then guard one, I think it is. Let me check. Yeah, guard one to create space also. But if you want to create space and break ankles, definitely Steph Curry. I'm going to go and throw on guard two because it'll catch some ankles, I think. I just have that opinion. Escape. You cannot go wrong with Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant is... When speed boosting was still a thing, that's the one you wanted to use. And you can still use it to just create stuff out of. And then, but if you want to catch ankles, just easily catch ankles. This Kyrie Irving, no doubt, 100%, you can count me on that one. Kyrie Irving will break ankles. His escape is a glitch. It is cheese. It's a glitch. This Tony Parker ain't bad either. I, I just like it because it's kind of funny. It creates a little bit of space. This Chris Paul. I like his. His will break ankles too. And J.R. Smith, his is real nice also. D. Rose, his creates space, and it's kind of weird, but in my opinion, I'd run either J.R. Smith, Chris Paul, or Kyrie, because they're all those little quick stops, and that's what you're going to be using to break ankles. Man, I assume those don't matter. So let's get right into the moves right now. I'm not running any boost, as you can see, just to show you. Okay. And you know what I was talking about that normal three for the crossover the reason I say do that is because this right here it'll make people look dumb and then you just pull up shoot people do not expect that to come out usually sitting you'd be like oh and they don't just catch them easily like that and this escape I was talking about it'll catch anyone I like to just sit here right in front of the three point because you can do that step back out you just do that little move, and then back, do the step back, and you'll be back at three-pointer. Splash. And then you got your Jamal Crawford you can always do. You can always do your Jamal Crawford right there, and that'll catch people. And then this right here. That's nice. That's that guard, too. That guard, too. I just got it. I mean, why not? I feel like that's going to catch some people. They're not expecting it. And then just space. Right there, rain. And then back to the step back. If you want to cheese people with your step back, definitely do this right here. Just, oh, sorry guys. Definitely just run back. Tap back on your right stick. And then opposite way. If you have a point guard, this is going to work better. But I'm a shooting guard, so I do the best I can do. And then you can also do it right here to get a quick shot. That right there is cheese. So, I think that's all I'm going to show right now. So, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Every subscriber helps. Peace.